Welcome to Doxy. Doxy is an AI-powered knowledge management platform that is built to help you create your knowledge, update and publish your product documentation, and share it with your customers and your internal users by combining internal and external product knowledge. Doxy is a documentation platform that focuses on helping you build out your knowledge portals that looks for something like this and can be used to educate your customers on the web. In-app help interfaces that look like this and can be a combination of help centers and, and, and guiding tours to help walk your users through your applications and AI chatbots that look something like this and can be used to basically have a conversation with your documentation. So, the way that Doxy works is that it enables your team to create, publish, and share knowledge with the relevant stakeholders. Now, let's take a look into how Doxy works in depth and how you can accomplish all of these three things using Doxy. To understand Doxy, let's first look into the structure of content within the platform. So the content in Doxy is structured with shelves, which are like categories, and shelves have individual books, which are like collections of articles. So depending on whether you're building internal or external documentation and your specific industry, this structure can be used to um, basically uh, facilitate your specific use case. So let's start with a product driven company it needs to publish a knowledge portal to educate its users on how their product works. To get started with Doxy, what they would need to do is they would need to first and foremost to create a shelf and to create a book or use an existing template that is available within Doxy to generate and a structure for their content. That structure can later be published as an online help portal, in-app help interface, or as an interactive chatbot. So, the way that the content is created in Doxy is using our what you see as what you get editor, which contains multiple options for you to make your content better and to make it easier to understand for your end users. You can upload images, videos, insert dynamic content such as uh, things like Google Maps, content embeds, support. You can really add anything. You can Figma, Envision, Miro, anything you really use uh, that's on the web can be embedded within Doxy as a standalone application to kind of accelerate the education process of your end users. So the way that we help you create your content is in two ways. You can just do it the old fashioned way of building the content yourself using all these options, or you can use our AI, um, which is basically a list of predefined skills that you can use to kind of make your content better, to understand if the content is harmful, to remove redundant language, to perform language translations, correct grammar, uh, fact check the content, etc. So there's many skills that you can, and you can build as many of your own skills as you like as well. And then you'll pretty much generate this AI content in Doxy, which will take some time, but eventually it will create your content that you can use within your application. The other ways to generate content within Doxy is by using fragments, articles, or templates, which is basically, uh, which are basically pieces of reusable content that you can use to insert uh, into your existing documentation or to use snippets which are reusable single sourced pieces of content that you can use as a single as a way to do single sourcing within your application and to create these type of experiences. Um, 
So once you are done and you created your documentation, you organize some of your content, you may be looking for a way to publish it. And the way to publish it is by creating deployments. Docs supports uh, several types of deployments. Uh, and uh, the way that deployments are done is you can have them secured or unsecured, and you can pick and choose what type of content gets published for each individual deployment. This is great if you have public and private content and you need to publish an internal and customer-facing knowledge base or you need to publish multiple customer-facing knowledge bases for customers who have different entitlements for your product. Another way would be to create an in-app help interface, which looks something like this. And these are contextually relevant and aware interfaces that can be embedded throughout your web application. And they can be used to educate your end users in real time on how to utilize and use your product. Now, going forward, um, Another thing that you can do is you can also publish a chatbot, as we mentioned before, that looks like this. And the chatbot can basically take the content of an individual deployment and uh, utilize that as its source to be able to answer customers in uh, language, uh, natural language queries and provide support in that way. So how would your workflow in Doxy look like? So the way that Doxy facilitates workflows is through the use of projects. Projects are used in Doxy to be able to showcase different, uh, uh, to be able to, sorry, to be able to uh, create tasks and assign them to individual contributors and to build out workflows and steps around those tasks. So for example, you will have a task for drafting content, reviewing, approving, translation, approval, then final review, and then maybe legal review, and then you will publish that content. So projects correspond to releases and releases correspond to versions. All the content that you have on Doxy can have multiple versions and is basically versioned and can be used to... Uh, <clears throat> and the versions are used as, as a way to publish new content without disturbing or disrupting existing content. So, uh, and uh, in your knowledge portals, your versions will look like this and the user will be able to switch to and from a different version. Or you can publish a knowledge portal with a specific version in mind and lock that user to that specific version. And that depends on your use case, whether or not you have customers who are using older version of your product or newer version of your product. Another concept in Doxy is called revisions, and revisions are basically similar to versions, but they're basically individual versions of different content within your application, and you can take diffs between different revisions of your content, and then based on those diffs, you can revert back uh, any content uh, to the previous stage where it was. Now, collaboration in Docs is done, obviously, with the project management, where you can define these projects and then use these projects as a way to control uh, your releases and provide you with workflows or tasks, and uh, uh, which is a more simple way to do project management, where you assign individual tasks to individual team members for individual content, and then they work through their tasks to complete the work. Um, there is also an analytics component within Doxy, which is basically, uh, which can be utilized to show people how the who how the people accessing the product, uh, give people uh, an avenue to provide feedback, as well as analyze your search results, what people are looking for, what people are trying to understand, and what are your most searched articles, and what are your top keywords that are being uh, searched. Um, there is additional analytics that can be provided on the enterprise level as well, and uh, we can get into the specifics uh, for the enterprise demo. So, in terms of the collaboration aspects of Doxy, um, you have granular permissions that you can offer to your team, and your teammates can basically share knowledge together, and uh, you can invite individual contributors and then manage what content they have access to. 
The platform is extensible and it supports uh, basically API. There is extensive API documentation. There is webhooks, and there is a bunch of different um, ways to uh, to analyze your content, such as vocabulary manager, editorial style guides, etc. Another concept to talk about in Docs is, of course, localization. So localization can be used uh, to basically generate multilingual knowledge portals. And um, Doxy has a feature called Ghost Translation, which will also automatically translate your content as it gets updated and published. Um, and uh, the goal of this is to basically uh, to create for multilingual um, experiences for your content and to be able to switch to and from different versions of content and different languages of content and translate automatically. So this covers all the basics of Doxy. There are a lot of more advanced use cases that can be covered in our trainings, but this kind of provides you with an overview of what our platform can do. And uh, hopefully this is helpful to you. Um, thank you.